1970 Chevelle, arguably the most desirable muscle car there is. Like the 57 Chevy was to the 50s era, the 70 Chevelle is the poster child to the muscle car era. And you know what the highest horsepower produced in that era was the LS6, 450 horsepower. And actually, everyone says that was underrated. And we have a dyno sheet. This is a stock rebuild in this motor and it dynos over 500 horsepower. This one's restored, like say, to factory specs, but I think it's better than factory. Factory didn't put out a paint job like this. The car is like glass. It fits so nice, it's polished so nice. We got this guy from, uh, no, sorry, we got this car from a guy in Oklahoma that I bought some cars from. If you go on, uh, Amazon, we did a series called Bolo House of Cars. And we went down there and we looked at this car when it was still a part being restored. It's in, I think, episode four or five. But my point is, this car is restored as nice in the places you can't see as what you can see. In the video, the whole dash was out, door panels were off, the window regulators were polished and, and beautiful, inside the doors painted. Pull the dash out, everything up underneath there is all painted. So if you find that episode, it, it's on there. But up front, it's it's perfect. I've never used the word perfect, but it's all new. It's it's an excellent shape. The stripes have the correct dimensions. It has T3 headlights. The gaps are beautiful. Again, it's smooth as can be. Fathom Blue, awesome color combination. The only thing he did not do to concourse, he put radial tires on it. If you're gonna have the car judged, a set of reproduction tires. It's numbers match front to back. We have the breakdown, I have a list that will be posted on our website. The wheels are correctly restored, the two-tone gray, all new trim, center caps. All the stainless is polished, new windshield of course. Everything up here is just, just like new. Window seals. I've seen restored cars and I've seen guys that spend a lot of money on a car. You don't see as many that the end result is this good. I mean this car is dialed in mechanically and cosmetically. has 30 miles on it since it's been done. And back it looks brand new, has the right cowbell exhaust tips. Again the stripes painted correctly. Any new new lenses, emblems, trunk lock is polished. Side here is every bit as good. Door jams are beautiful. Inside the car is completely restored. Everything's new. The handles, the armrest, it's all one color. It's not a bunch of mismatched, uh, you know, white and pearl, and it's all pearl white. Even the backs of the seats, all the little chrome trim. Even the seat belts, they're either restored or they're new, but I mean, they, they look new to me. The cushions in the seats, they're not just recovered over old seats. That's why they fit so nice. It's all new cushions, the springs were redone. The whole dash area sparkles like new because it is. All the chrome, the knobs, all been redone. The vents aren't even dusty. Look at that. The kick panels and knobs. The console. Let's go right in here.
Again, beautiful paintwork. The jams, the seams, everything is right on. The correct trunk rubber, spare jacks completely restored. Clean, clean metal. Has a nice durable coat of spatter finish paint. All the wiring is new. The latches, everywhere you look. Convertible top is brand new, white top. Even the framework has all been restored. New rubber, it goes up, it fits properly. The windows roll up and fit nicely. I said everything works. The interior lights are all on. The annoying key buzzer works. The parking brake works. Even the brake light comes on to let you know the parking brake's on. Damn, radio works. The clock is ticking. Even inside the ashtray. Visors, the all this stuff. Nothing's been overlooked. If you could go back to 1970 and order the ultimate muscle car, this would be it. But this is nicer than what would have rolled off the assembly line. Completely done to factory specs. All the right uh, hoses and clamps, all the little doodads, all correct. Has a smog equipment that would have been on here. The spring clamp battery cables. And it's spotless. This is not dusty, grimy, dirty. Everywhere you look like new. Caddy and plated brake booster. The solid lifter engine, it could rev so high, they put deep groove pulleys on these from the factory so the belts wouldn't fly off at high RPMs. This has all the deep pulleys. It has the hump on the head, which is the bigger port heads. And again, all the part numbers will be listed on our website. Did you know that cowl induction actually sucks in more air than big hood scoops? Air goes right over the hood scoops, but it hits the windshield and it's circulated right into that. So that is a functional ram air system.